Darnell Washington is one of the freakiest players we have ever seen at the tight end position. He is a true blend of size, speed, power, blocking. He's kind of got all the physical tools you look at. After that combine performance he just put on, we had to dive into the film, see what his final grade would be in this 2023 NFL draft. Darnell Washington was a five-star prospect out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He was very heavily recruited and eventually chose to attend the University of Georgia, where he played for the Bulldogs. He was a very key player for them for the last three years, but he actually wasn't even the starter on that team because Brock Bowers was also at Georgia, and he is probably the best tight end in the entire country. That meant that Washington was kind of relegated to a blocking role. He didn't have a lot of production. Just 45 career catches at the University of Georgia, just three touchdowns as well. Definitely going to be very interesting to see how he transitions over to the NFL and what NFL teams think about him and that lack of production. The first thing that jumps off the page to you when you're looking at Darnell Washington is obviously the size. He is absolutely massive. He's six foot six, 275 pounds, just an absolute beast of a human being. And that shows up in his physicality and his run blocking as well. He is able to hold up against defensive ends one on one. He can block the weak side very well. You don't really have to allocate a lot of resources to help him. He's able to seal off blocks in the run game and climb to the next level just like a traditional option offensive lineman does, he really kind of changes the numbers in the running game because of his ability to block essentially as a sixth offensive lineman, just changes the math and how the defense has to defend the run game because their scheme isn't typically based around a tight end that can block the way that Darnell Washington can. In addition to that power and that blocking ability, he also has amazing speed and agility. He's very impressive at moving in open space, especially when he gets his momentum going. And I think that, you know, he showed his ability to be a true athlete in the open field as well. Very difficult to bring down in open space. He'll hurdle over guys, he'll run them over, throw them off. He's very difficult to bring down. And I think that if offensive coordinators are able to find creative creative ways to get him the ball in the NFL. I think he's going to be a true weapon because of his ability to really pick up a lot of yards after the catch because of that size and speed, which makes him really, really tough to bring down. Due to his ability to create separation and really use that speed to his advantage in the open field, he's very good at creating space between himself and defenders, especially on crossing routes any kind of flat routes where he's able to pick up momentum. He also shows some really impressive flashes of good hands. He did have a couple of drops here and there, but I think generally speaking, I think that catch at the combine solidified that he certainly has good hands, just needs to get a little bit more consistent, but I definitely think he has good ability to catch the ball. Even if it is in traffic, I think that he has good hands and that, that certainly uh, was flashing on film. Now to get to the cons of Darnell Washington, there are some that are pretty notable here. And I think first up, you have to look at that production. As I mentioned, only 45 career catches. The most in a season was 28. That was last year. That was the most he has ever had in a season. Only had three touchdowns over the course of his career at Georgia as well. Just not a very productive player. A lot of that was how he was used. A lot of that was the fact that Brock Bowers was on his team, but also still something to note, the fact that he really wasn't able to go off statistically in college. I also think that his route running is significantly underdeveloped at this point. He really is not very good at creating separation or looking very natural when it comes to quick breaking routes, anything that requires him to manipulate defenders, anything that requires quick flip of the hips and turns into open space. I don't think he's shown great ability to do that on a consistent basis. Not that he can't do it, but a lot of what he was asked to do was leak out of the backfield, run to the flats, maybe run a crossing route. So he really just doesn't have a lot of experience in advanced route running. And I think that can certainly get better, but right now it is pretty underdeveloped at that point. He also wasn't asked to stretch the field vertically very often. And I think that's a very important trait for tight ends, especially in the red zone. He really hasn't shown that he can challenge the defense vertically, go up and get it and, you know, out muscle guys in the air for the ball. I have no doubt that he 
has that skill set in him with his size, but he really hasn't shown it. And I do think it's probably going to be underdeveloped when he comes to the NFL for where you would hope a first round tight end might be at. Darnell Washington is going to be unlike most other tight ends that go in the first round. Most of the tight ends nowadays that do go early are the Kyle Pitts types, maybe more like Dalton Kincaid in this draft, where they're big slot guys. They're essentially going to be wide receivers that are able to stretch the field vertically. They're able to challenge defenders with their size, speed combinations, and they're very good route runners. And essentially they're just big wide receivers. Darnell Washington is not a big wide receiver. He's a small offensive lineman. And that's a lot different as far as the scheme, as far as his fit in the NFL, as far as his transition, um, becoming an impact player early on from day one. You have to know what you're getting in Darnell Washington as you draft him. He's not going to be somebody that is very developed as a pass catcher. He's not going to be somebody that is going to be really refined when it comes to the nuances of the tight end position in the receiving game. But if you want a guy that is a physical freak, if you want a guy that can really run block as a true offensive lineman and change the math in the running game with really high upside with those traits to become an impact in the passing game, that's what you're drafting in Darnell Washington. I think as long as you know that going in, don't expect too much in the receiving game from him in year one. I think it could be well worth a first round pick. But overall, I have a final grade on Darnell Washington of 86.50. I really like what Washington can do. I really think that he has some good upside. That is a late first round grade on my grading scale. I do think he would be worth potentially taking a swing on towards the end of round one, especially early day two if he does fall out of the first round. So I really like the upside of him. I really like what he could potentially be in the NFL. He is an absolute physical freak. And if you want to bet on upside. Darnell Washington is your guy. If you like NFL draft content just like this, please hit that subscribe button down below. While you're down there, please hit that like button as well. That just helps grow this channel and push this out to other NFL draft fans just like you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.